I'm Nick Baker, TV presenter and wildlife enthusiast. I've got 48 hours to explore the city of Adelaide in South Australia. It's one of the country's most diverse states, with jaw-dropping wilderness and breathtaking beaches, all just a stone's throw from its capital city. I'm here on one of Adelaide's fantastic beaches, but there's so much more to this city than sand and sea. In fact, I'm going to start my explorations by heading towards the legendary Central Market, which is a bit of a foodie's paradise. And I'm going to be getting a guided tour of all the locally produced fine food and drink that this state has to offer. This is the Central Market, and I've come here to meet up with Mark Gleeson, who's a bit of a local food expert, and he's going to show me around. It's one of the most famous markets in Australia. It's a melting pot of cultural offerings, fresh foods from all over South Australia, representing great seafood, great veggies, great fruit uh, from all the regions around us. From the market, I'm heading across town to one of the world's best urban vineyards, Penfolds Winery and the McGill Estate, home of the famous Grange label. Founded in 1844 by Dr Christopher and Mary Penfold, the winery was started with the vine cuttings they'd carried on their voyage from the UK. Today, people travel from around the world to tour their wineries and taste their wines in situ. Unsurprisingly, Adelaide is known as Australia's vineyard city and one of the wine capitals of the world. Mm. Cheers. Right in the heart of Adelaide is the Botanic Garden. I'm meeting with Rebecca Sullivan to talk about the resurgence in native foods. Well, Rebecca, it's lovely for you to meet us now, um, and it's also sweet that you've brought a flower for me as well. It's like our first date, <laughs> isn't it, really? I brought you some, some beautiful native, native flora. So what have you got here? I've actually got some um, kakala, or pig face. It's a native succulent. It's very, very tasty, and as I just squirted you in the eye yes. with the water coming <laughs> out of it, you can see well. it's very yeah, yeah, high yeah. in water content, so it would have been used for hydration. But it's bloody tasty, isn't mm, it? Yeah. It's, it's very it's, salty. It's very though. crunchy. It's got a nice texture to it's it as well. It's got a great crunch to it. Really amazing in, in stir fries or in salads. And just super high in nutrients as well. Now, both Mark and Rebecca suggested I spend my second day exploring the wineries and wildlife of the Adelaide Hills. Just a 30 minute drive from the city. Locals in the know tell me I can get a great lunch here, served with some of the country's best wines. So I'm off to meet Marty from the Lane Vineyard. So, Marty, what's, what makes the Adelaide Hills so good for wine production? Well, to me, there's a couple of very important factors. Um, one, the diurnal temperature difference. So the difference between daytime and nighttime temperature at harvest is 20 to 25 degrees. And then, of course, the soil. Adelaide Hills are some of the oldest soils in the world. There's not a lot of nitrogen, so the vines are working very hard. So more concentration of flavours, more nuance, a very fresh minerality, which just makes them really delicious to drink. Mm, decisions, decisions. Do I use this glass full of some locally produced wine, which is excellent, or do I use these glasses to look at some local wildlife, which is also excellent? I wonder if I can do both. Mm. The Adelaide Hills is a great place for artisan food and wine. It's also an amazing place to see nature. This park is in a rugged bush environment and has some fantastic walks. <laughs> Peregrine falcons and parrots. The wildlife here at Moriolta Conservation Park has to be seen to be believed. We're only a stone's throw away from the centre of Adelaide and we've got all this on the doorstep. If you want to get familiar with the wildlife of the bush, the plants, the birds, it's all here. It's so accessible. So after a day exploring the sensory delights of Adelaide itself, what a better way to unwind at the end of the day watching a sunset on one of its many beaches.